Now, in a community often overshadowed by violence, some young men are now using football not just as a game, but as a tool to unite rival neighborhoods in Mount Salem, St. James. Ramada Lyons reports. The goal is peace. For years, residents were counting days spent in a zone of special operations Zoso, which started in 2017. The reality? Security forces stationed at entrances. Now, they're counting goals in the Mount Salem Football League. The turnout is huge, it's great. I mean, it's something that can lift back the community or bring back the community together. You understand me, I say? And so much people me see me never see them so, in a long, long time. So seeing them now, it's an amazing thing. I grew up in Crawford Street and I always dreamed that I could participate in something like this. So growing up and seeing it now, it's a good look. The makeshift football field, right between checkpoints. Now it's all organized by young men in the community. Matches run from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. Spectators stand here entertained. Everything is good. Everybody's having fun, nice, clean fun. Nobody violating. The football bring back love, peace, joy, happiness. Oh, glory to God. The name Mount Salem literally means mountain of peace. We have peace here in Mount Salem. And exhibitions like this, competitions like this, that bring it out. Impressed, People's National Party caretaker Dr. Andre Houghton has introduced monetary rewards. The winning team will walk away with $100,000. Second place, $50,000. Third place, $25,000. But football shouldn't be the end of it. At least one resident wants sports where women can do much more than just spectate. Seeing that we are having sports for males, I'd like to see more for the females as well because there's a lot of talented young ladies in St. James and I want to see the girls them come out, you know. The PNP caretaker and councillor for the division both said because of the Zoso, the community has been suppressed. We have been doing a lot of peace through sports initiative, our aim is to make Montego Bay safe, which is S-A-F-E, and we have been doing sports initiatives, artistry, and financial literacy initiatives, and the E is for enterprise and economics. You have to pull the people together, give them something to rally about, give them something to be excited about, give them something to speak positively about tomorrow, that they enjoy. Murder and fears of reprisal, concerns after a double murder, Gangs blamed for murders. A few headlines while the operation is in effect. Despite that, a sponsor has come on board, having seen the dedication of youth in peace building. We decided to support the venture. We realize, you know, it's a community-based venture and it's also bringing the people together because CPJ also has their football teams. So who knows? Maybe we might come around next week. Romarda Lyons, TVJ News.